Explore Thought is Scotland's arm of European Researchers' Night, a project that's funded by the European Commission. The aim is to celebrate research, celebrate researchers, and to connect people with cutting-edge research that is happening across Europe, uh, but also in particular right here in Scotland. In previous years, Explorathon happened in venues, shopping centres, museums across the city, uh, but for 2020, we are moving online. Explorathon is really special. It's a really good opportunity to build build community and talk about what we do and why it's important. We've been a part of Explorathon for several years now. Uh, so what we're doing this time is a Zoom session where myself and my colleague are on hand to present a couple of interesting illusions to participants, talk them through it, then lead a discussion about those and other illusions. The event that I'm bringing to Explorathon is a talk about how we feel real things for imaginary people but then think about how gaming intensifies that because you have the interactive element so after that we're going to do a live play session this year we put together a workshop that we're going to be running about what microorganisms are and then we want to get the message out there to people about when it's appropriate to wash your hands when it's appropriate to ask your doctor for antibiotics we are doing some inclusive and accessible chemistry that's particularly set up so that children who aren't in the run-of-the-mill developmentally will be able to do some good science, have lots of fun, we hope, and learn something. Last year, we created a knitted periodic table. We thought it would be fun to continue that tradition. We're going to be knitting a banner for Math Speak Scotland. People can contribute a square, so we thought it would be interesting to have people knit mathematical symbols that were hidden within each square. It's going to be about floating and sinking. It's going to be fun. Might be a bit messy. I think we're going to suggest that people at home maybe get a tea tray or something set out to catch any spills. We've actually arranged that we're going to be sending materials to the school beforehand. So they'll be making their own microscopes and things like that. So I'm really just looking forward to seeing some kids get excited about microbes like we do. We just really want a chance to be able to kind of give back and show what it is we're doing and how that can benefit people. We want kids to be as amazed and kind of struck at how weird and surprising some of these perceptual illusions are. And I hope it will lead to really fruitful conversations because out in our community is expertise and experience that we don't know about yet. Come to Explorathon, teach us. I think it's a great two-way conversation. The pandemic has been a really challenging time for so many people, but what it has shown is a real adaptability and creativity among our university community. And you can see this reflected in the Explorathon programme. We've got food and language tasters, live gaming, we even have a knitting workshop on Zoom. Public engagement helps us stay connected and I think in 2020 we need that more than ever. Check out the Explorathon website at explorathon.co.uk. See you online.